Good evening, YouTube. Robert Alvarez, the Psychic Witch, also known as Mr. Lighting and a Fan, and of course, Bast the Kitten. Now, in the interests of full disclosure, Bast is no longer a kitten. She is approximately four years of age, and um, but she's still the youngest in the household, and bye, Bast. <laughs> Hello again, YouTube. Yes, yeah, so Boss the, Boss the Kitten has not been a kitten for a few years, I think. She now is going to become four this year, or five? I can't see that. Four. So she becomes four years old this year, so yeah. So she's no longer a kitten, but, you know, she's still the youngest, so whatever. So anyway, um, a few things before we officially begin the topic of this video first, I was very happy to discover that this morning I now have 700 subscribers. I am very excited about that. I was like, ooh, that's a milestone. And Imojabi praised because 7 plus 0 plus 0 equals 7, which is Imoja's sacred number. Ever since I watched a movie called Mo Woman on Top, I can only pronounce Yamaya's name the Brazilian Portuguese way, Imoja. So, Imoja be praised. Anyway, so, um, and that's one thing. Secondly, I'm gonna have Drake, more commonly known as my awesome audiovisual person for my YouTube videos, do a close up of my beautiful pendant. This is the pendant that I always wear when the sun is in Gemini. You'll notice that at the top there is a citrine quartz. And at the bottom, there is a mother of pearl, sun and moon. Because the lover's card, well, my personal favorite lover's card, um, is from the Robin Wood Tarot. And it depicts a woman with dark hair holding a moon and a man with blonde hair holding a sun. So whenever I see, and it, this is not the only lover's card that I've seen over the years that depicts a sun and a moon on it. So, um, it's one of my, it's really my favorite pendant to wear, and actually the only pendant that I wear um, while the sun is in Gemini. Um, I, I have a pendant that I wear the night before the new moon, the night of the new moon, and the night after the new moon. Um, well, really, the, the, through those three, that three-day period, but other than that, I really don't have any other pendants that I wear uh, when the sun is in Gemini, except for this one. It's one of my personal favorites, as you can tell. So, speaking of the moon, this is the official video for The Many Moons June 2023 entry. And I am, go of course, going to have Drake do a close-up of the gorgeous front cover. And you know what I love to say about this front cover? It's prismatic. <laughs> and of course, the back is your basic black, off-black, classic black. Morticia Adams black, Elvira black, goes with anything black, not so slimming black, etc. So we are going to June. Okay. The June monthly overview. Solstice beams her sunshine at us all. 2023 is almost halfway over. Can you believe that? The theme for June 2023 is enjoy. I have said for years that joy is one of my favorite forms of prosperity. Acknowledge how far you've come by enjoying the life you have created. If you are reading this, or if you are watching this as the case may be, you have infinite gifts to be grateful for. Spend June in active gratitude mode. Tell all your beloveds that you love them. Most importantly, show them. Yes, Sarah Faith Gottsteiner, who writes all of the monthly overviews, is the living goddess of the Many Moons uh, calendar planners. And um, I've always gotten that sense that she's more of like an action speaks louder than words living goddess. That's a bit of a challenge for me because I'm more of a, you know, words kind of person. 
a living God of words, if you will. Anyway, help them with annoying errands. Reach out with a homemade meal. Mail them surprise small gifts you made for them on a Tuesday night. Times are really hard, and many people are going through it. An easy way to feel less lonely is to reach out to others. Make new friends if that's what you need to do. Connect to your benevolent ancestors. Thank the earth for all her gifts, as well as show her. Pick up trash one afternoon, and each time you see it, learn about what bills are being passed to end fossil fuels and support them. Love is an action. Mm. And no coincidence, the sun sign Gemini is astrologically connected to the lover's card, the card in the major arcana of the tarot of divine love, or as the ancient Greeks called it, agape. Love the world enough to be a person who shows that love through enjoyment. In between en and ment is joy. It is the root word of enjoyment. Open up to what you enjoy without shame. If doing challenging or unusual things brings you pleasure, embrace it. Cultivate transmissions of joy and peace in your days, all of your days. For those of us with trauma or who are facing deep challenges, it can be tough to experience relaxation, pleasure, or play. Smart with, start with small moments. Go glimmer hunting. I cannot tell you one of the things that I love to do and that brings me infinite joy is to read a book. And it's one of the things that I do most of all when I engage in sacred solitude. That, that three to four day period when I stay home, my computer is off, my phone is off, and I get to spend time with all of these beautiful books, metaphysical books, cozy mysteries, uh, books on magic and witchcraft, uh, LGBTQI plus literature, um, thrillers by, James, by the James Patterson, you name it. That's what brings me joy, and of course, on the occasional cup of black tea. Those of you who immediately thought, I bet you it's a cup of Twinings, you would win that bet. Lady Grey, to be precise, with some dark brown sugar and some light cream. Anyway. Ditch the self-help books for the month and beyond. Oh, ditch the self-help books for the month and beyond. You aren't an infinite self-improvement project. Good goddess, how many of you needed to hear that? You are not an infinite self-improvement project. You want to know something? A lot of us are so much far less fucked up right now since I read that. You know it. How many of you have been acting like you are this forever self-improvement project? And guess what? This bitch was one of them. Now this witch this witch bitch and y'all witch bitches out there can be like, oh my fucking goddess, I am free. I am no longer a self-improvement project. A a amen, amen, bitches and witches. Amen. You aren't an infinite self-improvement project. Start date, end date. You can learn through connection, fun, and learning a new skill or hobby or visiting a new place. Keep up your spiritual practices, but instead of using them as something to fix you, think of them as play. Experiment with a new meditation technique. Play around with different colors in your aura. Moonifest, as opposed to manifest, from a place of joy and play. Do not try to force or control. See what shifts when you stop sucking in your gut, holding your breath, or waiting for the other shoe to drop. Let me tell you something. My very first lover once said to me, I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. 
Those of you who are waiting for the other shoe to drop again, you never need to wait that long. Because I'm one of those people that used to use that expression. And make no mistake, every time I waited for the other shoe to drop, it always did. So please, all of you in YouTube land, stop waiting for the other shoe to drop. I promise you, every time you wait for the other shoe to drop, it always does. To, comp to compartmentalize, wow, I'm a sun sign Capricorn and that's the first time I mispronounce that word. That says a lot. To compartmentalize joy or self-satisfaction until a project is finished or until the accolades come in is a form of self-punishment. I have a friend, I'm not going to mention her name, but this is somebody who lives in my area. She is a professional psychic reader. She's a clairvoyant. She's a natural energy healer, meaning she's not trained. She has never trained um, in an energy healing modality such as Reiki or Rising Star or Cranial Sacral Therapy. She is simply somebody who naturally channels divine love healing energy through her, through her hands, and lays it on a person in need of energy healing. And she always talked about she's waiting for her miracle. She always said that to me, and I would always say to her, but just because you're waiting for your miracle doesn't mean you don't have the right to be happy now. So if you're waiting for some big thing or some big miracle, and I can almost hear Drake, Drake's thoughts, yes, I am listening, Drake. I promise you I'm listening. I know you have that look that you don't believe me, but I am listening, I promise you. I listen to what I say. Anyway, yes, so if you're waiting for some big thing or some big result or some big whatever or some grand demonstration, be happy until you manifest it. I know that seems so ass backwards, but it's actually the trick, the magical, metaphysical, mystical, spiritual trick to turning the tide in your favor. But don't take my word for it. Try it on for size and see what happens. I'm channeling my inner um, LeVar, Button, LeVar Burton from Reading Rainbow. <laughs> to compartmentalize joy or self-satisfaction until a project is finished, until you receive your grand demonstration or until your miracle occurs, or until the accolades come in is a form of self-punishment it trains the brain to never be happy and to only rely on the external for fulfillment. It actually isn't enough just to achieve goals in the material world. Achieving them with pleasure, play, engagement, levity, curiosity, and compassion is the actual accomplishment. For June's tarot spread, sign up for the Moonbeaming newsletter at moon-studio.co. I will include the link in the description box. Or pull a card to see where you will find more joy this month. And because joy is one of my favorite forms of prosperity, I'm going to use for this uh, card, for this casting of a card, the Sorcery Underground Fortune Telling Deck, uh, the full walkthrough video of this deck was published a few hours ago, in fact. And, yes, close up Mr. Cameraman. This is the card to see where you where you will find more joy this month. <gasps> oh, in the mother, in the divine mother, in the full moon, in the mother goddesses like La Virgen de Guadalupe, like the goddess more commonly known as Isis, like all the like Imoja, another full moon goddess, Guanxi. A divine mother, absolutely. Ooh, 
Ooh, that just, ooh, that gave me chills. You know that's my, my tarot totem card, so when I see that, it's like, <gasps> ooh. Anyway, thank you, as always, to the Sarah Faith Gottsteiner Gottes on Instagram for creating, for giving birth to, and for offering the world all of her offerings, but especially the many moons, lunar planners, and of course to the Brian David McDonald for creating the Sorcery Underground fortune telling deck. And to all of you in YouTube land, thank you so much for honoring who I am and what I do, and for honoring Drake, more commonly known as my awesome audiovisual person for my YouTube videos. I wish all of you protection, peace, wholeness, healing, and ever-increasing, ever-augmenting amounts of joy.